Now, because of the traffic delays, JIA is urging everyone to get to your flight at least two hours early. Our team coverage continues right now with Action News Jack's Elizabeth Pace live right now at JIA. Elizabeth, you've seen traffic building near the airport as well. It's a busy holiday weekend, so we expect to see some traffic out here, but it took us much longer than normal to get here to the airport. And now that those lanes were open, we're starting to see more cars pull in behind me, but one woman told me it took her an hour to get here this morning. So how much longer did it take for you to get here? We left at 8. I got here at 930. Ginger Mackey drove from Fernandina Beach to JIA this morning, but hit traffic at every turn. We sat at the light in Callahan probably 30 minutes to turn left on US-1. But people are coming the other way, looked worse. While she was driving south, we had a roadblock driving north at the interchange of I-95 and 295. Exit 362 allowed us to get on the West Beltway and eventually got to the airport, but it took us an extra 15 minutes. Stephanie Whitemore says she watched Action News Jacks this morning and was able to skip over the traffic. I watch your station since I've moved here, and you're always on point with the traffic. Yeah, so I appreciate it. It would have been a very, I probably would have missed my plane. JIA is asking all flyers to get here at least two hours before your flight. While the wildfire continues to burn, FHP says we might see more delays in the future. It's, I mean, we're in Florida, it's that season. Uh, hopefully, they'll get it under control pretty quickly. Now, if you're not dropping off a passenger like this lane behind me and you're parking instead to get to your flight, you also need to plan ahead because JIA says they're still making construction changes to their parking lots today. Reporting live at JIA, Elizabeth Pace, CBS 47, Action News Jack.